Okay, to connect a transmitter to the DTI Phantom, you actually need to find this cable, the set of four cables. Um, those cables can be quite useful. The yellow one and the brown one are to connect a camera to, and the red and the brown one on the left are the ones that we need to have zero and five volts. Um, first, you need to split the cables. There are different ways, but easiest way is just split them, split them again. And I'm just going through complete walkthrough, so let's take it easy. So we split them again. And after that, we need to strip the wires. Uh, just use a regular stripper of a cable stripper, but these wires are so extremely thin that you can try to use it, but in the end it's just as easy to do just with your nails. Then I usually just uh, put a little bit of tin on the connections. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to solder them on the rest of the kit. And then you take one of the cables which are provided within the set. Uh, you take the cable that's going to deliver the 4 to 5 volts, uh, the 5 volts, and it has a black side and a red side. The red side we don't need, so we can actually cut that off. Um, those cables we need to strip again. And after you've stripped them, you just quickly put some tin on it. I don't know why my video is lagging right now, but well, <laughs> just use it. So, strip them, put some tin on it, and connect the brown cable to the black cable. Because that's the zero volts, that's the ground, that's earth. So first connect those. Make sure you have nothing else connected. There's no battery in it. Uh, just in case anything short circuits. Um, and second, connect the red to the red. I pre-recorded this video because it's easier just to talk over it. But connect them, it's well, a bit of tricky. You might use another option to connect them, but I like soldering. It might be a bit more permanent solution, but at least it works. And yes, my camera is out of focus there. Ignore it. Okay, next I always quickly check is it just an optical connection or is it actually strong enough to hold. Then I put some tape over it just so it will never connect to something I don't want to. Uh, so just quickly isolate them, quickly isolate the other half, uh, put some extra tape on it so it's really isolated and that it can handle a little bit of stress, but after you connect everything, I normally like just to tie wrap it to the helicopter or to the quadcopter. Then this side can be connected to the transmitter. Then you can also connect the video cable to the other part of the transmitter. Uh, always make sure the antenna is on, but last parts just with a lot of different small parts connect the camera or the GoPro also um, well with the transmitter it's just plug everything in and let's see if it works so that's part one uh, you now can start up the oh sorry I'm just going to show off a little bit so now you can uh, la 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 yeah. Oh, first I did the video screen. Okay, video screen, just uh, put a quick sex changer on the yellow one. Connect the yellow one with 
only the video, the other parts, the audio outs you don't need, so you just keep them away. Uh, you might even be able to cut them off, but you might short circuit. Then put the red cable, um, the red cable on the screen in this kit. Uh, just connect them with the battery lead. The other part of the battery lead goes to the receiver. Uh, there's just uh, three holes in the bottom. It will only fit in one, so put it in there. Um, connect the uh, connect the display to one of the AV outs, and finally connect the battery. And this is uh, this connection is kind of hard to make, but at least it's a stable connection. So when you've done that, you get a no signal, but that's all right because you really need to start up the helicopter first. And let's do that. Okay, when you start up the helicopter, everything will turn on. So the transmitter will turn on, turn on, the GoPro will turn on. And let's go, let's do it. I connected the camera to the gimbal because otherwise uh, the gimbal is out of balance. But then you see the black LED, or sorry, the red LED on the transmitter to show it's on. Then turn on the receiving end, just connect the battery. There's, uh, it might be easier to connect an on-off switch somewhere over there, but connect the battery. And if everything's working right, you should see on the display the camera output. And this way you have wireless point of view. Uh, or you can have a wireless point of view uh, fun. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I hope this was all the information you needed. It's just a quick connect. Oh, I'll almost connect the dots. I hope you didn't get too offended by my English, but I'm Dutch, so that's it.